So the most common tape job is obviously that ankle's been rolled, so your ATFL, so we want to be taping that ankle into a bit of dorsiflexion and a bit of uh, a bit of eversion. You want to make sure that that athlete is down far enough so that their their lower part of their gastroc, that's where the anchors are going to go, that that's just hanging off the edge of the bed, okay? And then you're going to instruct your athlete to make sure that their foot's in dorsiflexion. The quicker you are at this tape job, um, the less the athlete's going to be mad at you too, because if they have to hold their ankle there for 20 minutes, that thing's going to fade, 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 and you're going to start actually getting some bad wrinkles in your tape job because of that too, so you've got to keep that right up to there. Okay, so I said make sure the wind's yeah, blowing in Vince's face. Don't hold it out here, just get it nice and close, and you're just going to spray the areas where you're going to be taping. Okay? I'm going to show with the heel pads. We don't have enough heel pads for everyone to be using the heel pads, but I uh, said come grab one at least, and then you just scoop some lube on it. I get over the Achilles tendon. Scoop some lube on the second one, and you can get over the front there. The pro wrap, I like Vince, so I'm going to be nice to his skin. So generally, <laughs> pro wrap you can do as a continuous wrap. No, it's different than Cobra. It's like tissue paper. Uh, it's, it's, it's more like foam. We're going to give you guys a little wet, but it's just traditional foam. All it does is um, anchor sleeves down. It's easier than taking your hair off. So you can see that that foam's going to hold the heel pads in place. And you just basically follow the contours of the body and the ankle. Make sure you don't have the, the Pro wrap way up here because again you got to have your anchors on the skin. So check that lower part of the gas truck and make sure you come two three finger lengths below that. So if you come up too high, then you're going to have to do your anchors up here. And now you're right on the mid belly of the calf. The athlete's not going to like that. So you want to make sure you're below that mid belly, okay? And then for your anchors, it doesn't matter if you go medial lateral, but said make sure you know where that mid belly of the calf is. Vince's foot's up there, and then you're just going to go from the front part around to the back part. And you're gonna, again, overlap it by half the tape, okay? So you got your two anchors there, and then your midfoot, you're gonna have a couple anchors there as well. You could get away with one anchor in the midfoot. Um, I like to do two anchors, but uh, so chatting with Vince and Mark and Daly and Janine earlier, it's, taping's a recipe, so we all make banana chocolate chip muffins and we all use slightly different ingredients how we get there, but at the end we get delicious banana chocolate chip muffins, right? So we're gonna have really good tape jobs in the end, but we all might do it just a little bit different and Vince and I will all have just a little bit different takes on it. So when you start with called your stirrups, you're gonna do three stirrups and three horseshoes. You're gonna start on the medial side, so you're gonna start on the inside of the ankle, and you're actually gonna check on your malleolus. You're gonna have it coming back that posterior part there, okay? You're just gonna lay that on, go underneath the heel, and you're gonna come up, and you're gonna make sure you do a little bit of a pull on that outside, okay? <coughs> and then make sure that tape's on there, okay? You're gonna get a bit of a gap there, that's fine. Next one, now you're gonna go right over the malleolus, okay? And same thing, pulling up on the outside, okay? And just making sure that tape is sticking each time there. Okay, and then now you're gonna go in front and across behind. So you can see I've, the malleolus here, I've made a bit of a fan on there, malleolus on the inside, a bit of a fan there, so it's not three strips in the same direction. Um, I kind of screwed this up a little bit, so I would typically do one stirrup, then one horseshoe, one stirrup, one horseshoe, and, and do a, a series of three there. Um, but I got too focused on the stirrups. <laughs> so horseshoe. Now I'm going to go below the malleolus, okay? And I'm just going to come across medial to lateral again and bring to this anchor now. Okay? Make sure that tape stick down there. Second one's going to go right over the malleolus. Again, start on your anchor, pull across. And again, don't be afraid to do a little bit of a pull at the end there. 
And again, make sure that tape is on that anchor. And then the third one, you guessed it, it's gonna go above the malleolus. But again, half the tape job's over top of it and pull it onto the inside there. Can you get about a 50% overlap there? Yeah, so by the time you have the three strips of tape on there, the malleolus is in the middle, your three stirrups, the malleolus is in the middle. So I said you're gonna start one, uh, the, the first one's below or, or behind, your second one's right over top of the malleolus, and then your third one's either in front or with the horseshoes, it's gonna be just above. But I said that third strip is still going over that malleolus a little bit, okay? Once you're in this position, you can start closing off the strips and at least making sure some of the, the tape is stuck in position. So I usually do a couple strips at the top, just to make sure that is stuck there. And then just in case Vince starts losing a little bit of strength and dropping, I always just make sure I at least do one around the midfoot too, just to keep that tape in place. Yeah. Talk about the contour of the leg and how that will naturally form a, rather than going in a circle. You'll, you'll always get an, an X, right? Yeah. Go, yeah, the, the, the cap isn't a perfect cylinder, so you're not going to go straight around it. You're going to angle off just a little bit down and it'll come back around. Um, you're going to notice some ankles are really easy to tape. They've got nice contours to them. And then you got other ones that are just headaches. And they're just, <laughs> um, especially when you start getting into your heel locks and things like that. So, uh, said so if you got an athlete and it's day two of the competition and you knew that day one their ankle's a headache to tape, uh, yeah, get them to stop by your tent a little bit earlier. And then I close everything off, so I'm half overlapping. Medial to lateral. And even on the front, I make sure that I overlap the tape just a little bit. Don't have them just touching. I said that I started there and I ended there, so make sure there's that overlap. And you basically take that all the way down. And you're closing off areas too, because the last thing you want to do is have this area open so all the blood flow is getting in there and you're getting blisters around that skin. So you got to make sure that as you're doing it. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, if you do the continuous wrap, that's where you're going to run into circulation problems. Um, so yeah, it's not a, not a continuous wrap, it's a rip at each, and that's why you get a good at your tear. Each, each piece of tape needs to have a purpose. So it's not just a wrap, 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 it's you should be doing one specific thing. So like these ones are more to, they'll hold things together, okay, uh, from the stirrup end of it, but they also close all the windows. So as soon as you get the window is like that little bit of skin, if that's exposed, so it'll chafe and chafe and you'll get blisters and tape cuts in there. So once it's all kind of covered up, Everything sits inside nicely. So yeah, you're, you're inspecting as you go and you're just making sure you're covering everything up. So I take it right down to where my uh, horseshoe was. Uh, some people even take a little bit further down there. And then, um, so you got your anchors, your stirrup horseshoes back and forth, and then it said closing it off, and then uh, heel locks and continuous uh, figure eights. You can add those next. So um, with the heel lock, I start over the ladder malleolus. And this is where it can get a little bit confusing, but you basically start with the ladder malleolus, follow into the arch, and it's going to come back up. And I, this is where it can get a little bit difficult. So if I pull too tight here, you can see that tape starts to wrinkle there. So you just got to make sure you just have that right amount of tension. Good. And that can come back across there. So I would have done one on that side, and then I start over the medial malleolus and do the same thing. And you can see if, you, if you're doing it, you're starting to cover a lot of the areas that were uh, exposed before. And again, I don't pull too tight on that heel because that's where you can run into a lot of issues there. So depending on how stable I want the ankle, um, I might do three heel locks um, or I might do what are called uh, J strips as well, where it basically starts here, comes up and actually pull across that way. There's lots of little different variations. The key thing here is I, I read, check it now and if it's got a nice stable surface um, and, and, and the, the, the ligament supported that might be all I need. You can get into some of the brown stuff, um, the tensoplast, if you want to add some more stability if they're not quite getting the stability that they need when you retest them at that point um, or as I said you can get into uh, figure eights as well. So 
But for training purposes and practical purposes, start with this.